Hi, students, and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Miss Lee. Today, we will continue to investigate the question, how do organisms survive seasonal changes? Are you ready? Grab your pencil and your science journal, and let's get started. In our last lesson, we found out that the monarch butterflies migrate throughout the year, flying to warmer environments in predictable patterns. But then, someone showed me a photograph that really challenged my thinking about butterflies and migration. I can't wait to show it to you. Here it is. What do you notice about this photograph? Hmm, I noticed a butterfly in snow. I'm so confused, and I have a lot of questions. Do you? What do you wonder? I wonder how can the butterfly live in the snow? And hey, don't butterflies eat plants? Are any plants still alive in the winter? Maybe the butterfly is somehow suited to a snowy, cold environment. I know there are many kinds of butterflies, but how different are the various kinds of butterflies? How can we answer some of our questions? Well, We'll need to learn more about different kinds of butterflies and explore how they each grow and change. But first, let's revisit what we explored in previous lessons about a butterfly's life cycle. Let's play a quick game. I have four cards. When I flip them over, you will see the different stages of the butterfly's life cycle. You tell me if I have them in the correct order. Got it? Okay, here we go. Is this order correct for a butterfly's life cycle? Adult, egg, chrysalis, then caterpillar. Hmm, no, this order doesn't look right. However, I do think one of these cards is in the correct spot. Which card is in the correct spot? The chrysalis. I'll leave that card where it is and shuffle the others around. Now, is this order correct for a butterfly's life cycle? Adult, caterpillar, chrysalis, then egg? I think we're closer to the correct order. I know that caterpillars form chrysalises, so I'll leave stages two and three where they are. But I think we need to switch the other two cards around. Let's look at the stages one more time. Is this order correct for a butterfly's life cycle? Yes, we got it. A butterfly starts off as an egg, then grows into a caterpillar. From that stage, it forms a chrysalis and then emerges as an adult. Have you ever seen the transformation from a caterpillar to a chrysalis to a butterfly before? Let's watch this video clip. It starts with the monarch caterpillar. Before I press play, what do you notice? I notice the caterpillar hanging down from a little twig. How does it hold on like that? Now this video is a time lapse, which means that it was filmed over a long time and then played back really fast. So what you see here would take much longer in real life. Here we go. Wow, that was amazing. What a transformation. Thinking about caterpillars and butterflies reminds me of the photograph I showed you before. Let's check it out again. Does this caterpillar look like the one we just saw in the video? And does this butterfly look like a monarch? Hmm, maybe this butterfly isn't a monarch butterfly. Oh, wow. Look at this photograph of a monarch butterfly. The other butterfly doesn't look like a monarch butterfly to me. I wonder if different butterflies go through their life cycles at different times of the year than monarchs do. Let's imagine a winter landscape. I'm particularly curious about how butterflies in different stages of their life cycle survive the cold winter. Which stage do you think is the best one to help a butterfly make it through the cold winter? Egg? Caterpillar? Chrysalis? or adult. Could there be more than one stage that is best suited for winter? It seems to me that it's time for some more research. I have
have photographs of the life cycles of four different butterflies. Let's study them together and we'll think about the question. How can the butterfly survive the winter in the different life cycle stages? Let's look at the coral hair streak first. These photographs show the four stages of the butterfly's life cycle. What stage is the coral hair streak in during winter? It's an egg during the cold winter months. How can the butterfly survive the winter in this stage? Well, maybe the coral hair streak egg waits for the warmer spring months before emerging as a caterpillar. What do you think? Let's see how other butterflies survive the winter months. Let's look at the Baltimore checker spot. What do you notice about its life cycle? Which stage is it in during the winter? The Baltimore checker spot is in the caterpillar stage in the winter. How can a caterpillar survive winter? Do you think the Baltimore checker spot caterpillar tucks under leaves to stay warm during the winter? Looks like a cozy spot. Let's learn about another butterfly, the black swallowtail, and see what stages it's in during the winter. Interesting. This is the first butterfly we've seen so far that is in the chrysalis stage during the winter. How can the black swallowtail survive the cold winter months in this stage? Maybe the butterfly waits in the chrysalis stage until it is warm enough to come out. Okay, one more butterfly. Here are the life stages of the morning cloak butterfly. Let's see what we can find out. What stage is this butterfly in during the winter? The morning cloak is in the adult stage in the winter. How do morning cloak butterflies survive the winter? Hmm. Do you think these butterflies move around much during the winter? You know, I like to see all these butterfly life cycle stages side by side. What do you know about the life cycle stages of the four butterflies we observe? I noticed that the butterflies all go through the same life cycle stages. They all go from being a egg to a caterpillar to a chrysalis to an adult, even though they go through these stages at different times of the year. In fact, each of these butterflies can survive the winter by being in a different stage of its life cycle. So what is different about the way each butterfly survives the winter? Maybe different butterflies can survive better in different life cycle stages, or maybe they survive in different ways depending on where they live and their characteristics. And we already know our monarch butterfly migrates to survive the winter. Your task for today will be to answer this question. Butterflies aren't the only organisms that have to deal with seasonal changes, are they? I know that I put on a sweater to stay warm in the winter or go to the pool to cool off in the summer, but other animals don't have those options. Let's keep exploring in our next lesson to see what we can learn about how other organisms cope with seasonal changes. Before we go though, I want to check in with our caterpillars. Look at how they've grown over time. Wow, when I received them, they were already past the egg stage and they were still so tiny after four days. By day seven, they had grown larger and at day 10, they were even larger. And look, they really ate up the brown mixture down at the bottom of the cup. So now it's day 15. Which stage do you think our caterpillars are in now? Do you want to see? They're now in the chrysalis stage. What a change. All six of the caterpillars have formed a chrysalis. Don't worry about the one that isn't hanging. It's fine. Now, we're able to take the lid off the cup to allow the chrysalis to hang in a more open space. When the butterflies emerge, they will have enough space to fly. Do you see that shaking? It worried me the first time I saw it, but the chrysalis is shaking to defend itself. It thinks that a predator might be nearby. Isn't that interesting? Okay, now we'll give these little organisms a break and check back in with them later.